Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk all about jigs. We're going to talk about the different types of jigs, what they do, how to fish them, and the equipment you need. Then we'll get into colors and sizes, talk about some trailers, and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to give you some of my favorite jig fishing tips that will make you a better jig fisherman. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead down below and hit the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark, so if you could help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. I put new fishing videos out every Monday and Thursday from tournament footage to how-to videos on how to fish different baits. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. But for now, let's start talking about some jigs. So we'll start with my favorite type of jig and the one I have the most of, which is gonna be flipping jigs. This is probably the most popular type of jig out there. So to get started into them, what does a flipping jig do and what constitutes it being a flipping jig? If you can take a look at that right there, see how that head shape is like bullet shaped, but it has that uh, flat eye like that. And what this will do is when you pull it through wood, it will climb over wood just like that. It'll keep your line up and you can pull it through all the cover and it'll fall down through and, and work its way through the cover just like that. These usually have a heavy hook on them, a flipping jig will. It'll have a heavy weed guard. Um, this is for heavy line fishing. Um, you're gonna be flipping this into the nastiest cover you can find, usually looking for the biggest bites out there. Um, this will take place of a Texas rig a lot of times where you're gonna throw a Texas rig, you can throw a jig and it'll get you a bigger bite. Just make sure that when you're picking out a jig, you wanna make sure it has a arced head so it can crawl through wood. I'll show you a couple other examples just so you can really get what I'm talking about here. Um, this is an arky head jig, I make these myself. Again, you're gonna notice one thing about this jig is that banana shaped head up on the front with the flat eye tie right there allows it to go through wood really well. So every flipping jig in this box, no matter what brand, no matter what size, anything, has that head shape. That is the key to a flipping jig. So that is what you're looking for. If you're gonna go out and buy some flipping jigs, you're gonna need two sizes. The first size is gonna be a 3 8 ounce size right there. Um, this one's a 3 8 this is my go-to. This is the one I throw most of the time. You can put a thin trailer on it and get a still get a fast fall out of that bait and get some reaction bites. But even in cold weather months, you can still take this tra this jig, put a thicker trailer on it, a bigger trailer. It'll slow the fall of the bait, and you can fish it really slow through the wood. The only other size that you need is going to be this one right here. This is a half ounce jig. This is going to be when you fish in the warmer months you get a really fast fall out of a half ounce. You can cover a lot of water with a half ounce jig. You can pitch it really fast, pitch it in, let it drop, hop it a couple times, get it right back out, pitch it into the next spot, hop it a couple times, get it right back out. And you're not gonna throw this in the cold weather months. It's just, it's too fast of a fall. They're not gonna come eat it. You want something with a slow fall the colder the water is. Once that water heats up, you can go to this half ounce jig and really start to work it fast and you can get a lot more bites by covering a lot more water. Now getting into colors. If I could only have two, it would be a black and blue, just like this one. I'd get a black and blue jig. And then the other one I would get would be a green pumpkin. And that's probably gonna hold true for most of the jigs that we're gonna show you later on today, but I'm still gonna explain it through the rest of them. But the one trick that I like to do is buy a black and blue and buy a plain green pumpkin and then I'll actually change the color of my bait with a soft plastic trailer. So instead of having to buy 10 different jigs, I can buy a couple packs of soft plastics that are more versatile and then I can also change my jig color by putting a different color plastic on it. So if I get a green pumpkin candy trailer and put it on a green pumpkin jig, I can imitate a bluegill, but if I get a green pumpkin orange trailer and put it on that same jig, I can imitate a crawfish. This green fish tackle one right here, this is a green fish tackle skipping jig. This thing is awesome. Uh, that's a definite recommendation that I would uh, pass along to you guys with that heavy duty 5 aught hook in there. That thing's a beast. Um, these green fish tackle jigs, they have that arky head, they have good paint jobs, good colors and good hooks in them so you can fish these really well through the cover. I've used these a lot, these are awesome. If you're definitely getting into jig fishing for the first time, there's one recommendation I would give you and that is the Ike's Mini Flip Jig. Awesome colors, not too many of them, but they have the green pumpkin and the black and blue. Um, they're amazing. You'll get a ton of bites on these jigs. They're small, they're compact, they go through the cover excellent and they get you a ton of bites. Another one that makes a really good flipping jig if you're out there looking for one, uh, full size or not, I, they have a ton of different models and probably are the leading ones in jigs out there right now. They're a little pricey, but they're worth it, 
is the Dirty Jigs Tackle right there. Um, I love these things. I have a ton of these. The next type of jig we're going to talk about is a finesse jig. Um, these work exceptionally well in the cold weather months. They're usually lightweight, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, 9 sixteenths or half ounce um, is about as big as they come. These work excellent in rocks and wood. Uh, they don't work very well in the grass because of the head shape design, which I'll show you here in a second. But they work excellent in rocks and wood. Early spring, cold temperatures, when you really are getting a hard time getting a bite, that's when you want to go to a finesse jig. It'll get you more bites because it has a thinner skirt, has less strands, smaller presentation. Another place these work really well if you have spotted bass or smallmouth in your lake. Here's the key to a finesse jig. So right here you can see, first thing you'll notice that's different than the jig before, this finesse cut skirt up top. So this is a jig skirt that is put on here and then they take the front of the jig skirt and trim it off right even with the head. So it's only half a jig skirt and it has the little brush end on the front. Um, it's gonna give it a more finesse profile. That's why it's called a finesse jig. Another thing these jigs are gonna have is a lighter hook. That's the next thing you're gonna notice that's different about this jig than the other one that ball shaped head. Also, you're gonna have a vertical eye instead of a flat eye, but it's still at an angle. So that's still gonna allow it to come through cover. When we're talking about sizes and colors, for a finesse jig, I keep two sizes with me. I keep a 5 16 and I keep a 3 8 ounce. Those are the only two sizes I need. Uh, like I said, you're trying to get a slower fall with these. You're trying to fish them slower. You're trying to have a smaller bait. So that 5 16 ounce is really good in the springtime or late winter or late fall or anything like that and then you want to upsize to the 3 8 once you get more into the season they start biting harder they start being more active the water temperature gets warmer same color choice as the flipping jig this isn't going to change much um, you're going to still use your green pumpkins you're still going to use your black and blue those are going to be my go-to colors but then again you'll also mix in that brown is going to be a good color with the finesse jigs um, you're going to get, brown is going to be an awesome one for a finesse jig because a lot of times you're going to be imitating a crawfish with these so brown is definitely one you want to add in with your finesse jigs i just realized i forgot to mention brands on those finesse jigs um so the two brands that i fish for those ones is going to be the buckeye lures balling out jig from gerald swindle that is an awesome finesse jig i've had a ton of success with that one and then the other one would be the tour grade finesse jig from strike king that is also another awesome one i'm a big fan of that one as well the third type of jig that we're going to talk about today is going to be the football jig um, this is a very popular one for fishing deep water and it fishes insanely well in rocks this is out of rock piles this is going to be the one that comes through the best out of any of the ones that we've talked about so far and the fourth one to come this is going to be the one you want in rock piles the main difference with the football jig right there is gonna be that football shaped head. You can see how wide that head is. Still, again, has that flat eye that's angled upward. Again, that's gonna allow you to pull it through stuff on the bottom. Instead of your line burying into it, your line's gonna pull upward and you're gonna go over cover instead of into cover. So you wanna make sure that you have that flat eye. Um, oftentimes, these will have a light wire hook and a light weed guard as well. And I'll fish these on 15 pound test too usually because you're making a very long cast. So the farther your cast is out there, the harder it is to set the hook on a heavy wire hook because your line will stretch the further it's out there. The Strike King Tour Grade football jigs like these, these are my favorite. Um, they're awesome. They're very affordable. They have the best weed guard that I've found and they have that really light wire hook. I've had no problems with hookup ratios with these. Um, I know that can be a problem with football jigs sometimes just because of, like I said, that stretch in your line and that distance on your cast. Um, but these are awesome. You're going to need two, three, maybe three sizes if you choose. Um, the three quarter ounce, honestly, if you wanted to just do one size of football jig, a three quarter ounce football jig would be the one to go with. You can drag it through any depth of water, uh, no matter how deep. It would take some time to get down there the deeper that water is, but you'll be able to maintain bottom contact with a three quarter ounce jig no matter what. And that's the key. You wanna be able to maintain bottom contact with this bait 
no matter how deep you're fishing. So that's why you want the heavier jigs than we've been talking about before. I'll go to a half ounce if there's not a lot of wind and I'm getting hung up a lot. You can go to a lighter jig and it'll go over the cover better. And then the last size that you might want to add in if you fish really, really deep water or on a windy day, go all the way up to a one ounce size. And when it comes down to colors, there's only one, uh, two if you want it, but green pumpkin. If you want another color, add a brown in, no black and blue on flipping jigs. Um, you can do it and you'll catch fish, I promise you. The final jig is going to be a swim jig. Um, this is gonna be excellent in the grass. Now, there's going to be three sizes that you need for a swim jig. You're gonna need a quarter ounce swim jig, a three eighths ounce swim jig, and you're gonna need a one half ounce swim jig. The one half you can eliminate if you don't fish deep water that often. Now, what makes a swim jig so special is going to be, again, a lighter weed guard. It also will have a lighter hook, but the biggest key to a swim jig is gonna be the head. That's the most important part. And like you can see right there, it looks like a bullet. Um, that's actually the underside, but you can see how narrow and tapered that is. And also you'll notice this line tie is vertical like this, and it is horizontal to the bait like this. And it'll come through all the grass that you can put it through. Colors with swim jigs, we're actually gonna add in one more final color with this one, something different than what we've talked about so far. And that is gonna be a white swim jig. You're gonna go with a white one whenever they're feeding on shad. Um, I will put Kitek 3.8, 3.3, something like that on this white one. I'll never really use a craw trailer on these. The next one you're gonna need is gonna be the old standard green pumpkin right there. 90% of the time, this is gonna be the color I'm throwing. Uh, a lot of times up in that grass, those bass are eating bluegills. So this imitates a bluegill very well. And then the last one that we're gonna talk about this is gonna work well in dirty water, but you still wanna fish that swim jig, is gonna be the black and blue. Black and blue can still imitate a bluegill really well, or it can just imitate anything because it's a black shadow, so it just kinda of imitates a shadow of whatever is coming through the water. There's two brands that I fish. The first one being that green fish tackle swim jig. This thing is awesome. This is the swim jig. If I could only have one, this would be the one that I would have. Um, and then the other one, that is also just as good, Dirty Jigs Tackle. That is the, I think this is the Finesse Swim Jig. I have that one, but I also have the regular Swim Jig. The exception of the Kitek 3.3s and 3.8s that we already talked about with the Swim Jigs, that's the only time I would use that trailer is on a Swim Jig. We're gonna keep it really simple on jig trailers today. There's only two that you need is a perfectly flat, uh, jig trailer. You can see there's no appendages, there's no ridges, there's nothing on that tail of this trailer that can make it have movement. This is going to have no action falling through the water. You're going to pitch your jig in and it's going to fall straight. No action, nothing. Um, this is what you want when the water is cold. Now, like I said earlier about changing your jig color, I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. So, I have three colors in this box with that flat action. I can take this one right here, just a plain green pumpkin, and I could put it on a plain green pumpkin jig and just have the standard jig. Then, if I'm fishing around bluegills, that's a magic craw beaver, same beaver. I could take the same trailer off and I could put this one on and it'll give it more of a bluegill color. Or if the crawfish are molting, it'll give it that blue crawfish color that sometimes they get on their claws. So now I have two colors of jigs with only buying one jig. Then lastly, if I'm fishing some dirtier water but not dirty enough to warrant a black and blue jig, I can throw this one right here that has the chartreuse belly and the green pumpkin back. And then I can add a little chartreuse to my bait. Or you could even dip the tail on a green pumpkin one and have another color there. So I can get multiple options of colors out of one bait. The second one that you're gonna need, but what you wanna pay attention to on this one, if you can see there, those claws have little um, raised ridges there and it'll cause them to flap. So this is a Zoom Z Craw. Um, the Rage Craw works exceptionally well. I have some of those right here. The Rage Menace is a good one. Anything that has claws that flap like this, you're gonna want a jig trailer that's like that. 
Now, let me give you my last favorite jig fishing tip before we finish off the video here. If you are on a budget and you can only get one, maybe two jigs, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out and you're just gonna buy the dirty jigs tackle or the green fish tackle swim jig. If you put a Zoom Z crawl on the back of this, I usually do the junior. You put the Zoom Z crawl on, you get two jigs in one, you don't even have to cut them off your rod and put them on different rods. So you tie this jig on with a Zoom Z craw and you're walking around your pond, you're going down the bank on your boat, whatever you're doing, you can cast this jig out there and swim it through the grass or swim it through the water or whatever. The Z craw is gonna give it the action. It's gonna look like a bluegill swimming through the water. You can fish it really well, cover a lot of water with it. Then you get to the bank. There's a piece of wood on the bank that looks really good. You can take this same jig, 3 a ounce with a Z craw junior on the back of it, you could flip it right into that laydown and fish it like a flipping jig. It'll come right through the laydown. Two jigs in one, you don't have to spend a ton of money. I promise you guys, it's really that simple. You'll catch a ton of fish doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking all about jigs. So hopefully this helped narrow down what you need to get when you go to the tackle store and the basics of jig fishing and how they work and what they do for you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and make sure you subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about all these in real depth showing you how to fish it, where to fish it, everything like that, everything you need to know. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And thanks for watching.